All right, so there's two very important things that we do when we're connecting these lines of temperatures. There's two rules of isotherms or isobars or with any of these things. And so the choices are, the most part thing, the lines may not cross. Lines may not cross. Because, think about it, there would never be a time that a 40, you can't go 40, 30, 40 again. That's not how we count. We've got to go 40, 30, 25, 20. These numbers do have to be in order. The temperature has to somehow, there is a way, even if it's very close together, those lines are always going, they're not going to cross. And generally draw, there's no corners. So do try to draw lines that are nice, long, and curvy. We don't want to, like, zigzag it around. So we don't want those. Okay, so now we're going to connect the 50s. And here's where it gets a little bit more challenging. So we've got 40, and we see a 50 to the left, 50. So we're going to presume it's 50 down here in the Pacific and Mexico, and 50. But now, look, here's a 60. Uh-oh. So the 50 line has to be between the 40 and the 60. So let's try that now. Okay, so here we go. 50, 50, 50. It's going to get kind of close. It has to be in between that 40 and 60. Here goes 50, 50. And, oh, good, Pennsylvania. There's a 50. So that 50, we had to make sure that, that 50 was inside of the 60 line. So now we'll try 60, 60, 60, oh, 60. Good. There's where the 60s. Oh, and I see lots of 80s. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Nice. Uh-oh, so where does that mean 70 has to be? 70 has to be between 60 and 80. So it might be kind of skinny. Woo! 70. Those are 70. And 90, we really don't know what else. We don't have enough data to know more of what's going on in Florida, so we'll just draw kind of a curve there. Oops. So these are 90. And so with this, you have done the first step of being a meteorologist. You have connected the isotherms to, in order to show the areas of equal temperature.